What can I do for you today? Endurance potion and link of potion recipe. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Jesus? All this thing costs so much, dude. What the hell? <laughs> My god, Ring of a Potion is 100 okay. This one is still acceptable price, but the rest are just... Ugh. I'm good. Ring of a Potion recipe unlocked. Where can I find that? Inventory? Nope. Hmm. Now let's go to Thomas and Scrolls. Where is it? Revelio. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? I think table will be small, pot spell craft, small potion station spell craft. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, but those things cost a lot. There are two doors here. Okay, now for the for the most exciting part. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm coming, Olivander. Merlin, gloomy beard, not a gem. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, 
No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Mm hmm. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Whoa. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, Ah, hmm, perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, oh, oh my, oh goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <laughs> uh. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Notched warm brown. Wood type pine, core type dragon heart string, flexibility swishy. One length, 12 and a half inches. Oh. Oh. oh! Curious indeed. Oh, I like this one. How intriguing. Oh. oh Curious nice. indeed. Hmm. Let's see what this one is. Soft spirals. How intriguing. Stalk. Wind. Crooked spiral and natural. Which one do I want? Classic. Curious indeed. Hmm. Choosing a one is actually a how intriguing difficult decision. I kind of like natural. Kinda. But I don't really like the variations of it. Curious indeed. So so, <clears throat> hmm. classic. How intriguing. Let me go with stop. Curious indeed. Stop and go with top frown. Wood type. Hey, <laughs> There's so many wood type. How intriguing. Maple, laurel, March, or B, Holly, Diesel, Hawthorn, English Oak, Elder, Ebony. Curious indeed. Hmm. How intriguing. Sycamore spruce. Okay, we turn that one. <clears throat> Hawthorn. Hawthorn or. Curious yep. indeed. Which one was it again? Hornbeam. Let's go with Hawthorn then. <laughs> 12 and a half inches. How I know intriguing. everything about inches, huh? It's too long. That's what she said. That's what she said. 
It's going to be 13 and a half inches. Swishy. Curious Surprisingly indeed. swishy. Quite bendy. Solid, stiff, rigid, unbending, slightly yielding, unyielding. How intriguing. Hmm. Let's go with Curious unyielding. indeed. One core options. Dragon Heart String that serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic. The hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of a wand known for producing consistent magic. Phoenix as the core of a wand capable of producing a great range of magic. Okay. Which one do I want? Powerful? Consistent? A oh, great range of magic. Hmm. I will go for this, Phoenix. Ah! Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Yeah, finalize. What do you think? I'm feeling it. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Oh yes, I got my own one. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. <clears throat> Hell selves and music kind. I keep forgetting that this game takes place like in the eighteenth century? Way, way before Fantastic Beasts and uh, Harry Potter. I, I think it's way before. Yeah, yeah, it, it is way before Fantastic Beasts. Hello. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Uh oh. A troll! I almost missed it. <laughs> oh no! Wrong way, wrong way! Are we weakening him at all? I think we are. Dude, I tried to use particularly, it didn't work! Oh my god, why am I so bad at this? It didn't work. Accio. 
Oops. Repairer. Run, run. Wow. Mad range, man. Levioso. Akio. Dude. What am I doing? <laughs> what was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Oh. Yes. Starting to get the hang of it. Oh. Defendo. Look, he's faltering. Took him long enough. Oh my god. We need to make sure he stays that way. I was so close. I was struggling a little bit. What the hell was that? Invoke magic. That was cool. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We, we are, died, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Are you an aura? Akio. Oh, whoops. Repairer. Good as new. A moment to do. I will see what he wants. I see you. Anyway, come here. Whoops. Repairer. Lucky they didn't do more damage. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Peach, peach, peach. Akio. <clears throat> Levioso, repairer. Akio. I thought it was a peach. <laughs> Hello. We were just talking about you. Revelio. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. 
Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Okay. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. These things are still quite affordable. Poacher coat. Brown leather fingerless gloves. I can upgrade in this traits. Oh, okay. Hmm. I can always come back later, you know. an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Oh, yes. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Let's. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to the roof I shop at your door. That's a tree boosting, Nutty. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. <laughs> Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? <laughs> well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. 
My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh. -ho. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. We can't run away forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Oh, yeah. It's getting dark, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Let's complete the come to Hawks, me and a level 5. Oh. Why not level six? So please. What's this? Let me see if an outpost. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket. We found a green god. Okay guys, I think I'm going to just cut it right here. I think we've been playing it for a good solid, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two. And I'm, uh, I plan to like, um, how do I say this, like, not make this into like a long session, but a few parts, like maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes long each. I figured that way it would be easier for you guys to actually watch and easier on my end to edit. So yeah, anyways, I really, really enjoy this game. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really loving it so much. I was skeptical at first, like, it was gonna be like, you know, quite buggy and all that, but it's, it's pretty good. And I love the combat system in this game. I love the graphics, the story is actually really good. Well, well written. I mean, we're still <clears throat> quite early on in the game, but I'm sure. It's going to get even better as it progresses and uh, I'll definitely be doing some exploration like side quests uh, in my own time so that I, don't, I guess I don't want to bore you guys with all the uh, exploration and stuff so I'm just going to do it in my own time I, I would really love to hear you, um, your thoughts, your opinion on this game. If you actually played it, I would like to hear your opinion, your thoughts about this game. I really hope that this game actually wins Game of the Year. <laughs> game of the Year 2023 Hogwarts Legacy. I'm counting it. What's this? House chest, please. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna cut it here. Thank you again for joining me. And thank you again for tuning in. It's been a pleasure playing it for you. <coughs> shit, what the hell was that? What the shit? They actually made me jump. It doesn't allow me to go up. Well, 
Let me hit. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyway guys, take care, and I shall see you all lovely ladies and gents on the next adventure of Hogwarts Legacy. Bye bye bye.